guys, Bridget here. In this video, we're going to go through pretty much all the main design softwares and tools which I use as a UI UX designer these days. So we're gonna get started with the obvious ones. Uh, as you may know, I'm using Figma as my main design software. Previously, I used to use Sketch and before that Photoshop. Uh, but that was uh, for other times. And uh, Figma is uh, my go-to tool. I won't go too much into the details of this. I have over 100 videos on uh, Figma uh, on my channel. So if you want to learn about it, uh, feel free to check it out. And uh, now let's move on to the very next tool, which is uh, not a tool which I use on a daily basis, but almost, and that is remove uh, dot bg and uh, it basically it's uh, an ai tool which enables you to remove uh, uh, backgrounds from images so you just uh, drag and drop uh, any image pretty much uh, and uh, you're going to be able to remove uh, the background uh, in a uh, um, couple seconds uh, up to like a minute in uh, the very most uh, cases so you can see as it's uploading uh, i just uh, basically added this uh, this thumbnail uh, from uh, from YouTube and uh, it's taking a while but uh, it's uh, a very efficient way to just remove uh, the backgrounds uh, in a very fast way so as you can see it's uh, uh, you have it over here you can download the final image and uh, you have it now let's move on to the very next one which is Webflow and Webflow is uh, my favorite uh, website builder these days because it enables you to um, still have a lot uh, of uh, uh, customization and personalization uh, um, that you can assign to a website, but uh, it's very easy to use, very visual. And uh, I would say it's uh, just one of the best website builders uh, out there so far. So definitely um, love Webflow. And uh, when it comes to Webflow, one tool which uh, I really like to use uh, in conjunction is uh, this tool right here, which is the flow base uh, library. So as you can see over here under the components, you're going to be able to find all sorts of different uh, Webflow components, uh, which you can literally just copy and paste. Uh, so you can go here, you can copy the Webflow and also the Figma file. So definitely very handy and uh, just makes the whole process uh, very easy uh, so you can filter through the different uh, you know sections and components so for example say that i'm searching for a header I go over here look for a header i'm like okay this, this one looks looks nice maybe i can add it on, on figma and change it or directly into webflow and uh, you're pretty much uh, sorted out now before we move on uh, i want to remind you that i recently launched uh, a new uh, subscription for all of my courses so instead of uh, uh, selling them individually I have all of my courses uh, all in this one single view which is for just nine bucks a month uh, and it's over 10 courses uh, 40 hours of content uh, plus uh, and uh, you also have access directly to me so if you're interested in learning more about Figma about how to get in UI UX design uh, and uh, even how to find and sell to high ticket design clients, check it out. Now let's move on to the very next tool, which is uh, in conjunction with uh, the flow base uh, uh, that I'm using on uh, Webflow, and that is Relume Library. Now I don't use Relume uh, as much uh, as I do with uh, flow base, but uh, whenever I don't find an asset uh, in flow base, I usually go here and it's a very similar concept, uh, just uh, the main difference I would say is that uh, on the Relume library, you have more of a wireframe type of designs. So as you can see over here, we have uh, different uh, footers, which uh, aren't styled whatsoever. Uh, they're just uh, wireframes pretty much. So it's nice to have uh, almost like a backup whenever I need uh, uh, something which is a little bit different. Usually use the Relume library and uh, pretty much sort it out. Now another tool which uh, I do use uh, pretty much on a daily basis is uh, Photoshop. And uh, this is a tool which enables you to create uh, both phone, photo manipulations and uh, basically image editing of all sorts. So uh, this is really useful for raster graphics uh, and uh, you usually need it for all sorts of different things, also mockups. So definitely really, really useful. 
Now, if you saw my recent video tutorials, you also noticed that I'm using Nuclear App, uh, the icons for the very most part. And uh, this, uh, this app just makes it like super easy to, to use and find icons. You can find an icon, drag and drop it directly into your Figma file. And uh, you're pretty much uh, uh, sorted out. So you don't need to go and do it the old fashioned way of searching it on Google, find a decent uh, icon which looks similar to the current ones which you're using and then having to download it, uh, find it in the download section and upload it to Figma. So it, uh, it really makes it uh, very easy to use icons. And uh, in conjunction to Nuclo icons, I also use uh, the Noun project, which um, it's really interesting. The, the main difference is that on Noun project, you find uh, all sorts of different icons, even the more illustrative ones. So that's uh, are really something which, um, which is quite useful whenever you need a different styling to it, a different twist. So really, really uh, useful tool. And on top of that, uh, one of the main uh, uh, assets uh, uh, site, which uh, I use these days is uh, FreePick. Uh, granted, I do have uh, the pro account uh, on this one because I think it's uh, it's worth it in uh, in my case because you can find all sorts of different uh, uh, photos which are really really high quality. Uh, you can also find like vectors, icons, and um, similar assets, but uh, I use it for the very most part for royalty free photos, and uh, it's significantly cheaper than their counterparts like Shutterstock. So it's uh, just a no brainer for me to, to use it really. Top of that, uh, for UI kits, uh, as you may know, uh, I published uh, many design products on, on UI8. Uh, so I have quite a bit of a history on that. Uh, and um, generally speaking, I think that uh, on UI8, you find uh, some of the best UI kits uh, out there. Uh, they're always uh, pushing more uh, high quality UI kits. Uh, and uh, and also like the 3D icons are, are top notch on UI8. So that's my go-to resource together with LS Graphics, which uh, is uh, really a great place to find uh, uh, both mockups, illustrations, and also, and also UI kits. I would say uh, I, I use LS Graphics especially for the for the mockups and the illustrations. I think they're absolutely top notch in, in our industry, and. Uh, at the very end, uh, I also use uh, Canva, mainly for presentations and uh, uh, yeah, I would say like 95% presentation and then also some miscellaneous other design work. So that's a complete rundown of what I'm using in uh, 2022 and uh, I don't really see any different trend for 2023, uh, but I'm always keeping a uh, 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 look at uh, what uh, is uh, out there and uh, what is really like top notch. So if you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you in the very next video.